There's a whole lot of anti-trans sentiment in Britain at the moment, but by far the most transphobic thing in the UK today is this gosh darn weather, am I right? So, with that in mind, this is Woman Face's top 5 tips for surviving the summer heat wave as a trans woman. Number 5. Don't wear any makeup. I know, I know, you have to. After all, what if a stranger sees a little bit of facial hair or an uncontoured jawline? I feel your pain, really, I honestly do, but consider this. What if a stranger sees what appears to be your actual face sliding off of your head? Who's that gonna help? They're gonna phone an ambulance. I know it can feel like a very vulnerable thing not wearing makeup in public if you're not used to that, but you could always just buy like a, a very large rimmed hat or put like a veil over it so you look like that woman from the film Nope who got her face torn off by a monkey. Number four, show some darn skin girlfriend. Let me guess, gender dysphoria has got you out here wearing jeans and a turtleneck in this heat? I know what you're telling yourself, I've been there before. You're saying, oh, I'll start dressing weather appropriate once I've had laser. Bullshit, do it now. It's important to consider that passing isn't just about aesthetic, it's not just about the visual. It can also just as equally be about how you smell, for example. Here's an equation. Heat plus heavy unventilated material equals sweat, therefore body odour. Number three, stay hydrated. That means drink your water. Now listen, that's good advice for everybody. But the reason why it's doubly important for you is you've probably just spent the last couple of years absolutely mainlining estrogen into your bloodstream to get that nice smooth silky feminine skin and now you're just gonna let it crust up you're gonna just let it go to shit drink your darn water you can have wine later number two and speaking of skin sun cream get creamy cream yourself up I know there's stigma associated with it, but trust me, no one is gonna say to you, put the lotion on your skin or else it gets the hose again. People don't know that reference anymore. That's Silence of the Lambs. People don't watch that, it's an old movie. So cream yourself up good and don't let the bigots win by getting skin cancer. That's what they want. And finally, in at number one, the most effective way to survive the UK this summer is to move out of it. I know not everyone is going to be able to afford this, I can't do it either, but it is the best option. The UK sucks. Both sides of the political spectrum here are corrupt and deeply transphobic. Healthcare stinks, hate crimes are on the rise, and now this heat? Forget about it! Give me a break! If you can, just move somewhere cooler, like the Yukon. All you need is a nice cosy igloo, a suitcase full of HRT, and a man who knows how to fish. Thanks for watching Woman Face. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps. Oh, and by the way, leave a comment. What's your top tip for uh, surviving in the UK as a trans person? And if you're feeling particularly generous, you can help us out by donating to the Kofi page, kofi.com slash womanface, where we have exclusive members only content and access to a members only Discord server. Oh my God, I would pay so much flipper money to get in there. I'm talking thousands of pounds. You don't have to, it's just one pound is their basic entry fee. But hey, if not, a subscription to the YouTube is more than enough. Thanks so much for watching, have a great time, goodbye.